mills are incredibly useful tools for a home shop, but even the cheapest units are around 800 bucks. But what if you don't need precision down to the thousandth of an inch? We just need a rotating bit and an XY control, right? Seems straightforward enough. Are you ready to watch me fail? Repeatedly? Because this is Pin Drives. I have a $70 Harbor Freight drill press, and I mounted an about $70 cross slide vise on it, also from Harbor Freight. I ordered some engraving bits from China, and they didn't do too bad. The mounting was interesting, and I had to make up a couple mounting plates out of quarter inch flat bar mild steel. It works but something's wrong. Apparently, one of these screws was loose. They hold in plastic pieces called gibs, which make sure the slides move with very little slop. After the adjustment, the machine works so much better. It isn't a perfect surface finish, but it can easily be smoothed out with a vial and sandpaper. The bit isn't able to pull itself from the material like it did before. Obviously, this setup can't move much metal and has its issues. For one, the chuck connects to the drill press with a tapered connection. There is no locking mechanism, so it won't be able to handle much downforce on the bit. There's quite a bit of backlash in the cross slide, so it isn't too easily controlled. And the side forces on the drill press are likely not great for the bearings. Luckily, I'm not a machinist, so I will only be using this setup on rare occasions. With that said, I'm pretty happy with how this tangent project turned out. I was able to fix a cast part that would otherwise just have to be melted back down. If you want to see more on the machine I made this part for, I'll have that video up next Sunday.